fault, was that me? No. Slater! You ever seen that? Last action hero? Uh, I have, I just don't remember. Chief yelling at I thought, uh, the main character has the name Slater. Jack Slater. That's the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was watching uh, Jingle All the Way. Tur Turbo Man. Put the cookie down! <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro, I would have knocked Sinbad out so <laughs> quick, that mailman yeah, character, bro. Yeah, that's true. I, I think, you know, I've, uh, it's a kid's movie, bro. You see, he's, like, he's it. like, he's like, mm, boy, had that guy got in my way so much. Man, might have had to pop off on the mailman. I don't know. To Dash think. a dance, a prance, a vixen, calm the Koopa, <laughs> Donna, Blitzen. <and> bye bye. <laughs> I love that man. He's so good. <laughs> he's like, yo, and he this package is a bomb. <laughs> and then one of them was, and he's like, he's like that was really a bomb. That's really a that sick world we live in. <laughs> sick people. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, jingle all the way, guys. You know it. You love it. Arnold Schwarzenegger ran the world, and like at, at one point, in like between 1990 <laughs> and. <laughs> Like ninety five, maybe he was yeah. like, "Well, yeah, because like, he had a lot of movies." He had like out. twins. The that baby was like two thousand three. Jingle all the way. Nah. Yes, it was. I'm... Google, where's Google? I don't have my phone. Google, Google. Tell these people what you got here, and then we're gonna look this idol. Two thousand three. We're gonna see here. I'm about to watch. watch. Jingle all the way. Watch. That has Sinbad in it. That's gonna be six. Huh? 1996. See? 2003. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that had Sinbad in it, bro. It has to be older than that. that was, well, uh... Yeah, but people are saying that Sinbad was... Um, uh, um, damn it. Shazam. No, that was Shaq. Right. Yeah. Right. But there are people out there on the internet that are have pictures of VHS cassette tapes with Sinbad on the front of the cover and it says Shazam right on it. Well, he had uh okay, I I I was wrong. Shaq was Kazam. That's what I meant to say. Kazam cuz Shazam isn't that uh But no, no, Sinbad was Sh Shazam. I think uh, there was a there was I think a Shazam like genie kind of movie too, okay. but yeah. Now now I'm gonna look that one up. <laughs> <laughs> we started a trend. Yeah, because I Welcome back, guys. Since we just dropped you right yeah, into that. Two A's. It has it two A's in uh, it, and uh, that's why Kazam. Shazam. Ha. Oh, that's man. a Shazam. See. Oh, Sh Shazam. Shazam. But maybe not. It says Mandela Effect here. They're saying, oh, it's a debunk. I don't know. It is a movie. It, to me, it was a movie. I remember him being a genie at one point, too. But I remember Kazam. Shaquille. I remember Shaq Kazam. being Kazam. And I remember Shaq more just because it was on WB17. Oh, it was definitely Shaq. Like, no no questions asked. Yeah. It was Shaq. Like, like, speaking of those old movie people, yeah, like, it, movies back then would definitely would be like this artist was hot for, or this actor was hot for, like, Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, they were the trending thing, and well, then before was, trending was trending. Yeah. Yeah, and then they would. Yeah, they were they were running the gauntlet. You they, saw them everywhere. You saw them everywhere, and then stop. It stopped. It was yeah. somebody else. It yeah, was that's someone else. A, that was yeah. how trending things. Because it was like worked. Shaq the Kazam, and then he did uh, Steel, where he was supposed to be uh, a superhero. That's right. That's right. And I was, I was, I think he did something else, but I can't remember. But anyway, yeah, I'm drawing got? a blank, man. Which is another reference to superhero. Blank man? Yeah. Damon Wayans? That was Damon Wayans. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the the Wayans brothers, the only ones that were definitely. Uh, <laughs> if you don't know what Ryan's talking about, well, <laughs> Google it, just Google like it, we I did. Guess, you just watched but, us do it, Google it. But. <laughs> anyway, we have gotten way <laughs> off track here. Welcome back, guys. Today we are bringing you a. Um, a chocolate porter by Yingling. This is a Ryan selection. Uh, this on was a, actually on, a, uh, on an alcoholic beverage. Yeah, this was uh, okay. recommended to me uh, by Jeremy Coring, uh, Yingling Hershey's, and uh, Jeremy actually plays on my men's league hockey team. 
Yes, I am playing hockey, hockey team. again. Yes. This guy. Yes, we are five How, games in. Aren't you we like have, 65 years old? I am 65 <laughs> years old in hockey years. Absolutely. <laughs> it hurts every, after every game that I play. Like that Monday, I, I hate I hate life. Because I am i I'm in such pain. Is it like hurt to like try to try your shoes or something? Or? It, it just it hurts to walk. It oh. hurts to breathe sometimes, like in certain ways. Just because see, every week I'm starting to get more and more you know conditioned. Conditioned and back into it, so I'm taking more chances. And low or little do I know that I'm stretching more ligaments than I think and the next morning it's just like yeah the body doesn't want to work like that anymore you know I'm, I'm not 23 years old anymore where that soreness you can just power through now it's like alright getting up I sometimes need help getting up oh wow because the, the, the knees and the legs don't want to move on their own your brain is telling move your, your, your body is telling yourself get up and physically you're just not doing it. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> I s- <laughs> that yeah. sounds kind of scary. <laughs> He's like, wiggle, big toe, wiggle. <laughs> well, no, it's not like that. It's but, like, like, you know how, like, getting out of a car, you think no, getting I out get, of a car dude, is, I'm, is uh, simple, it's a simple thing? Yeah, when your knees don't want to move, like, trying to get up is, is we've now, daunting. We, we now know why, when we were younger, our aunts, uncles, grandparents, they'd huff and puff doing stuff because now we're like yeah you gotta grow yeah you gotta because yeah. you gotta like prepare your body for like this uh, movement that's why whenever you hear somebody you see somebody go like Ugh, everybody's like okay dad yeah all right dad what are you doing dad you need have you need some help going to the bathroom dad you know like like i ain't even a parent and i hear that shit yeah seriously like and it's like well you know you work for a living <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm starting to sound like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, as aging shows you that it's like you become, you know, you just become your parents. Of like, you know, you become the older person. You become the person yeah. that's working while there's kids that are getting out of school and they're like, what, you know, making faces at you. And you're like, man, you sit back down on that bus. <laughs> I get mad at children, you know. You get mad at children. Comment below. Yeah, I, just, I get, get mad. At, yeah. You watch Letterkenny, and he's like, "Man, I could watch kids falling off bikes. I don't care about your kids." I feel that. I get it. Like, it's yeah, no, funny I, watching I kids fall off bikes. I have, you know, being the, in the neighborhood when I'm at in the cul-de-sac, there's like a good amount of kids around, and uh, you know, I care, but it, it does, the chuckles there, man. When they when they when they, when they eat it, sometimes it's, it's just like it's ooh. only funny until someone gets hurt. Yeah, you, and then usually it's hilarious. But and then kids cry. And you're right. like, oh, like you know. Usually I'm like, okay, I gotta be like a concerned adult. You know, be, be concerned. Right. Oh, is he okay? Yeah, but when you have to be concerned and you're trying to hold back the laughter, it just makes it ten times funnier. Yeah. It does. So you're trying. You, then you're you know. You, and that's why we drink. <laughs> You look like a fool trying to hold it in. But yes, let's see what Jeremy has in store for yeah, us. He, a, uh, he said this was good beer, so we're going to check it out. So, so I drive by the Yingling, uh, you know, I've driven by it multiple times in my line of work. And uh, yeah, um, that's definitely one that I'd want to see. I'd actually be interested in seeing how they do this chocolate porter. 4.7, okay, so that's not that bad. I thought It's a 4.7. So it's a lightweight porter, because most porters are a little bit thicker, girthier, a little bit more oomph in them. But Yingling's just giving it a good old college try. So here we go. Ryan's Rec League. This is what they drink after wins. And Ryan yes. is... Uh, how many wins do you guys got? We are one in five. One in four. Oh. Out of five okay. Games. Yeah, one in four. Our name, our team name is the Cow Pies. So if that doesn't tell you. Anything. Cow Pies. Yes. Okay. And then So then you're the MVP of the Cow Pies? I wouldn't say I'm the MVP. <laughs> no. I wouldn't say I'm Put it on the spot. We've, we've, there you we've go, got, Jeremy. No, no, we've got, <laughs> we got a young kid. Uh, his name is Kyle. I'm going to crack this. He pretty much does most of the scoring. Um, Jeremy actually had a pretty decent game last game. In fact, um, I'm actually going to put up some highlights uh, of the game. So you guys can check this out right here.
from television. You can feel it. Chappelle, he's like, what was it? Uh, you know that's good. You still have some in here if you want more. We'll, we'll put more. Yeah, it's just, just taste, it. taste test. Let's taste test. Let's see one but yeah, hope you guys like that little footage. That was a little uh, mix up of everybody showcasing their talents. Um, it does look like we do a lot of scoring, but we really don't. Um, yeah, to me, hockey's always been interesting because. They go fast, but that doesn't mean that they're fast on foot. It, they're just fast on ice. You know, you guys are fast on ice, but you're not like real speedsters. Because the way your body, the way you have to do hockey isn't the way that you normally would run. Right, that's true. So yeah, it's like I the, can't the, run to save like, my life. Like the muscles are using are different engagements. So yeah. it's, it's, it's funny to me how it's like, yo, you see them flying, but then it's like, all right, they, you know. At the same time, run, run a route, and it's like, okay, yeah. You know, it, you if you ran a race run. against me, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm just, <laughs> yeah. I, I get there. Yeah, it's usually behind. But uh, yeah, Ryan, let's take a sip of Hershey, this. Oh, it smells like chocolate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do smell it. Yingling Hershey's chocolate Hershey's porter. Let's porter. do this. Okay. So that's a yingling with a chocolate back end. A chocolate back end. Yeah, it, it's really smooth. Um, it, the ch- chocolate taste is more pronounced at the end. You can yeah. kind of still, like, I've had two sips and, like, in the back of my throat, I can taste that chocolatey cocoa. Right. Cacao. Cacao. And, yeah, it's good. Cheese. I um, it's finding really refreshing. I'm actually, you know, it's, not, it's it's for being a porter. It's a little, it's light. It has like an airiness, you know, lightness to it. Yeah. So it's uh, yeah, very, a lot a lot uh, smoother than I thought it'd be. And yeah, I and think maybe it's just the Hershey's is you know, good chocolate. It was, I, I was intrigued by this only because he drank this before a game one time, and that baffled me before I tried it um, because I'm thinking that's gotta be heavy and then to, to, to have to skate you know some it's what, hearty so that's probably why he drank it before the game to kind of like fill him up a bit give him a little yeah but still I, th- I feel like that would bog me down yeah I, I agree for the you know but hey warmed him up a little bit if he was a little maybe I have to ask him but and you know it's it, it, it's a lot lighter than I thought. Though. It is a lot lighter. Was, yeah. I thought it was going to be heavier. So in my mind, maybe that I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it tastes good. I like Hershey's. Uh, if you want some stock advice, Hershey's is a good stock to have. There you go. You're welcome. And uh, yeah, the chocolate's not overpowering, man. I'm actually very pleased with it. Though. Yeah, it's like her- even the aftertaste isn't bitter right there's no you do get a little bit of that like twang but it's no different than having like six Hershey kisses 
or a Hershey chocolate bar. You still have that back end, like, yeah. cocoa a little bit of, yeah. taste yeah, the, uh, that lingers. I'm trying to think, like, to drink this and then go skate hard? Yeah, yeah. you got to yeah. ask him how, what, what, what right. it is about I'm going to have to, because <laughs> that is, that's I feel like I'll be too. thirsty already, because when you eat chocolate, you get thirsty, Yeah, you know? yeah. Craziness. But yeah, Jeremy's got some some uh, some crazy sick skills he always has, even when we were younger. Jeremy and uh, the guy in the yellow helmet, Bobby, we've been playing, what, 20 plus years now? Yeah, you Since guys remember 97. Bobby from one of our old videos. Yes, Bobby was uh, Edgar Stunt Double in the Pink Whitney hockey video that we did. And if you don't mm. remember that, go check that one out. I think it's like video 70 or 80 or something. Like that. Something like that. But yeah, since then, you know... Times have changed so much from, from there has to here. Changed. A lot has changed, but such is life. Life is all about change. You have to embrace it, and you have to roll with it. Just like I was describing earlier, you know, it's harder for me to to move around after playing games, but I still enjoy playing, and I can still play, which keeps me feeling young, even though exactly. I'm exactly yeah. Like me, it's basketball. Like I like going to the park and shooting around, and it's. You know, seeing the ball go in and being able to do it consistently, it's like, oh, yeah, man. It feels so good for exactly. sure. <laughs> and, like, yeah. and that's it. Yeah, I know that I'm not going to be able to do it forever, but as long as I can do it, I'm going to. And even if I have to put in and and deal with a little bit of pain on Mondays, yeah, I'll take it because I can still play. Yeah. And, again, you're having fun. Yes. It's, ex it's good exercise. Right. So, you know, it's better than uh, no offense to, uh, you know, Video games or VR, but you know you get, you're actually out doing physical activity. You know, right, right, right. Where you're, you're, whereas you know you're not just sitting down. That's true. You know, that's a, yeah. Don't hate on my VR. Bro. No, no, I'm not. Hate, I'm not hating on VR. Listen, man. All right. Yeah, Yingling chocolate. Go check it out. It's amazing. Uh, if you like chocolate, if you like Yingling, or if you just enjoy beer, go check it out. Yeah, it's a good one. It's, again, uh, you think it's gonna be heavier than it and but it's really not so i would say that if you want to try a porter out just to try a porter that'd be maybe one to even start with you know? absolutely thanks for watching guys you already know uh if you like this hit a good old like if you got tips for ryan's form and there's uh, if you want to be a coach for his team you know just send him a little message and uh other than that yeah uh we know we're bad but it's okay because we're having fun cow pies what's your cow pies <laughs> and we yeah. are Three, Three sips of, of underscore, and we'll see you on that next one. He shoots. He scores.